Hello everyone. Today we're going to be pressing ladies panties, bikinis, and the boy shorts. These are the boy shorts. These are um, from Silky Socks. They have cotton in the crotch. You can sublimate the whole thing and still be safe with the cotton in the crotch. So here's the cotton. These are the bikinis. So we're going to sublimate them both. Um, I have my transfers. For the boy shorts, I use my A-sub roll paper. I believe my design was 13 by 22 to make sure I have enough bleed for the boy shorts and for the bikinis I believe I used 11 by 17 paper I will have to double check so what I did is I don't use a template because that's just me I use my old-fashioned measuring. So we're going to see if I line that up. I printed this out on copy paper a few times to get it in the right spot and the right size. So we're going to see if, um, if that worked out for me or not. So we're going to do 400 with um, medium to heavy pressure for 45 seconds. Make sure you have your um, craft paper, butcher paper down. We're going to do the bikini first. So here is the bikini. I'm like, wait, what is she doing? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to cover. I'm going to slide some copy paper, probably like two sheets of copy paper inside. No, it's not going to bleed through. I'm doing it because of the legs. The quality is excellent. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to do the paper inside on the when I flip it. This is only because of um, where you put your legs. So let's see, these ones are not long enough to go. And I can reach the corner that the copy paper is, um, is missing. Should have probably did the back side first, but either way. Everybody has their own preference on how they do things. You gotta find what works for you and your press. Every press is different. What works for me, the time or temp might not work for you. Yours might be running um, hotter. Or not hot enough. Okay, I think I have protected the inside. So let me make sure I line it up in the middle of my press. I have a 16 by 20. I believe these are um, a 2x. Trying to get the band. Okay. Make sure there's no wrinkles in the crotch. And let's see if this is going to work like it did on the computer or in my head. So. I'm going to make sure I got enough bleed. 
Here's the diamond right here. It's round, so it's going to be, I'm just trying to fit it in the crevices. Make sure. Make sure you got enough bleed down here on your sides. You can't rush. You have to make sure. And then we're going to go ahead and put our paper over me. And we're going to pray. Make sure your temperature is what it needs to be. My temperature has dropped. Why? I don't know. But right now we're at 392. So we'll go ahead and try it. 45 seconds with medium to heavy pressure. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thank you. And the quality of these um, panties are very good. They feel nice, nice and comfortable. Let's see if 45 seconds was enough, even though my pressure dropped. Nope. Or wait. Yes, it looks like it. So here's the, the transfer. Here's the underwear before I take out the paper. I think I nailed it where the diamond goes. Measure, measure, measure. I printed that diamond out on copy paper a few times to get the right size and to make sure it is in the right placement. So we're going to flip it over. And we're going to do the other side. Let me see my pressure and my time. So you try to get as flat as you can. We're going to get down there. This is what the back we'll see. I did the same thing. I printed the words out on copy paper and laid it on my underwear to see if I had the right size. Because you don't know how much it's going to stretch after you put your booty in it. So, I didn't want to make it too big. I didn't want to make it too small. sure I have it lined up where it needs to be. That's 
supposed to be right. I don't want to go too low. I want to go too high. And that size paper is not going to work. So, my temperature is back up to what it's supposed to be. The 400 for 45 seconds with medium to heavy pressure. More on the heavy pressure. And the same thing, I just measure, I print out copy paper, taped it to the underwear, held them up, and see if that's the size, if that's what I was looking for. So here's the transfer. And careful, they are extremely hot, literally. Extremely hot. I should have a warning sign. So there you go. And that's right where I wanted it. Not too far over. Not too far down. I'll know for sure when I try them on. So here's the front. Because you know girls like diamonds. So let's go try the boy shorts. The same thing with this design. I measured it out. Yeah, so this design is bigger just because of the the corners so that's why i had to print it bigger um just to make sure i can get those corners so let me make sure that's where i want it to be Make sure you got your butcher paper down, craft paper, whatever kind of paper you use. Make sure you have it. Um, make sure your temperature is back to what it needs to be. My temperature dropped, so we're just going to hang out and we can um, admire the custom panties. Remember, these have cotton in the middle so it is safe for females and healthy even though you can sublimate the whole thing oh here's the bottom so there's my the crotch area where the front and back meet so you can see they don't line up too much but there's no white it's all human error a little off but guess what no one's going to see it down there so it doesn't really matter so and honestly, who's going to be looking at the stripes? That's just a distraction. All right, let's go. We're back up to the 400 temperature. And um, we're going to do the 45 seconds, medium to heavy, more on the heavy. Depending on your press, every press runs different with temps, pressure, what works for me might not work for you. That's why practice, practice. You got to get to know your press. Get to know what it can do, where the sweet spot is, what works for you. Some people use pressing pills. Pressing pills don't work for me. It, it, I see people use them. It doesn't do anything for me. It messes up my stuff. So 
they found a spot that works on their press with it everybody's different everyone finds different learning curves and that's what it's about so here's my transfer I got a little side over there probably because I didn't pre-press it is very very hot very very hot we need a warning 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 hold on I'm going to show you guys in a minute so this is the front is that better so you can get, try to get the whole view there you go Yes, those are little sparkles. Alrighty, let's do the next one. I guess I didn't cut enough paper again. Or I blew away somewhere. So sorry for the noise. If you guys have any questions, <laughs> leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them the best I can. Now, once again, these are Silky Fox panties. Mm -hmm. These are good for the holidays, birthdays, weddings, whatever. To be look cute, have a joke, or wear them for every day. People buy Nike underwears all the time. Buy and look how much they spend. So why not? They can do it, why can't you? So let me fold my paper to see where my half mark is. Make sure that the edges are on. This is 16 by 20 press doing the booty shorts. So I got plenty of bleed down there. I don't have to guess. It's just making sure my words are lined up where um, you want them to be. They look like they are. On this paper, instead of double taping two sheets together, I used the A sub roll and printed it out on the roll. So, um,. The other one was done on sheets. And um, this one was done on um, the roll because I did not, I didn't want to tape it and my press was um, big enough. All right, I'm just waiting for my temp to go back up and there it goes. Because you got to make sure your temperature goes back up. If it's not the right temperature, the colors are not going to match. Even though they printed out the same, People think it's their printer, but did you press it at the same pressure, at the same time, at the same heat? So when you adjust, you can, it's smart to only adjust one adjustment at a time and then try it from there. If you adjust all three, how do you know which one really worked? It could have just been that your temperature dropped and nothing to do with your colors on your print. So do one adjustment at a time and see which one works for you. Even two seconds over can change the color of your image. Two seconds. I'm so excited. Oh my God. These are just so hot, literally hot. Hot, hot, hot. Look at that. Okay, so, whoo, literally hot. Need a warning sign. Warning sign, hot, hot, hot. So, what's the front? Okay, so this is the front 
I did the, the black. So technically it got pressed twice because the back, I did black too. So the black didn't change nothing in the front. The colors are still the same even though I pressed them twice. So let me see if I can line it up. There you go. If you can see it. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them the best I can. I'm new. The practice makes perfect. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Until next time.